Hey Steve, quick video. Just wanted to talk to you about a few things. Uh, this is not to scale because I haven't done the measurements yet, but um, this is the house here. This is the back deck, the front deck, the parking area. Uh, I'm calling these areas, you know, B1, B2 as uh, garden bed, B3, B4, B5, B6. I worked in B1 yesterday and did the tree in the lawn area. Um, there are some debt, there's one, I, in my opinion, need to be removed. Um, sort of like spruce or pine in B3 and one in B4, right about here. Um, so these would be the areas I'd like to hit next. After the leaves fall, this magnolia, whatever this is next to your steps, it's pretty overgrown. We want to talk about how to how you want that trimmed back. If you like, you know, the privacy look, or if you look in there, there's a lot going on on the inside, and I want to get in there and open it up a little bit and give some more light, maybe to this red bud, this exposure here. It's sort of crowding it out and crowding your steps out and crowding the top of your deck. I like to, you know, sort of gradually work the way work my way around. But start next in these beds here, work on these beds, and when I do that I'd be able to like to be able to get my truck in right in here and then just load compost right in these beds. Weed the brickwork there. Talk about what you want to do if you want to keep that. Weed these beds. Do B five eventually, B six, and then work on your um, lawn area, aeration and maybe putting down some soil amendments, uh, maybe grass seed once we uh I thatch rake pull back the dead grass once we look at what's there exposed if we want to seed we would seed over winter and that that would come up in the spring so that's the quick one two um, on the simulation drawing here